Hi, I'm RJ Baxter here out of Box Lender with your Saturday strategy. I hope your weekend's starting off great so far. I want to talk this week about closing more leads. And I'm and by leads, I'm not talking about just internet leads or web leads, Zillow or whatever. I'm talking also prospects that re referred to you. Now, of course, if a prospect is referred to you, you're going to have a much better chance of bringing that, uh, that prospect through to actually closing on the sale. But this, what I'm going to share with you today holds true for any type of of lead or prospect that you might come across. So check out some of these sales statistics. You might've heard some of these uh, before, but 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. Is that you? If you're, if you're watching this video and that's you, then you need to keep listening. 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop after the second contact. Maybe that's you also. You know, two contacts, better than zero, certainly. But this is the biggie. 80% of the sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact, 80%. So the fact that 48% of people don't even follow up at all, and then 25% call twice and then don't follow up after that, that means that the, the sales are closed by the people that have the persistence to continue to follow up. So that is my strategy for today is to systematize your processes so that you follow up with these prospects at least five times, if not 12, if not 24, if not 36, figure out a way to follow up with your prospects for two years. I've, I've seen statistics that two years is the recommended time because some people, you know, maybe they decide not to buy right now. Maybe they sign another lease to rent for 12 months or something like that. So they've decided that they are going to buy down the road. So you could get that sale 12 months from now. So what are your systems to make sure that you're following up with people for that long. I mean, you're a human being, I'm a human being. It's an, almost impossible to remember to do everything. So my first strategy this week is to make sure that you're working within a database so that you can track things, so you can take notes, so you can remind yourself to do things. It doesn't matter even what the database is. Whatever it is, if you use it, it works. So just find a database if you're not using one, get your prospects in there and figure out a way to systematize it there. The second strategy is, Automated follow-up can be really good. We have a system where I was able to design a follow-up plan that is actually me leaving voicemails, kind of like slide dial, if you've heard of slide dial, putting voicemails on people's uh, voicemail automatically without me having to do anything. Uh, the text and the emails in the campaign are ones that I actually wrote uh, as if, you know, the same way that I would follow up. So it's not like one of these canned follow-up systems. Uh, so that's been very effective for us. So to find a system like that or someone you can partner with that has something like that to follow up for two years can be highly effective. And then the third thing is think about the who in your business. If you're having a hard time following up with uh, prospects, who is the, the person that can help you do that? Whether it's outsourcing to another company or it's hiring someone to make the phone calls for you, that can be a highly effective way to follow up with prospects systematically and to make sure it's done every single day. And it's, you know, maybe it's not quite as good as how you do it, but if it's uh, scripted, if the person is trained and knows what to say, it can be highly effective because it's better to have it get done than to not have it get done. So that's, I mean, that's the, um, the basic philosophy behind the who in your business that can help you do this. So on that last strategy, we have, so I have people on my team that can help you with that. We have capacity to call prospects. If you have some people that are dying on the vine, maybe haven't been called for a few weeks or whatever, and uh, you need to follow up and you just can't seem to find the time because you're out there showing your buyers 80 houses before they get accepted, which I know a lot of you are experiencing. Uh, just give me a call. We're happy to help to call that list and help you convert more. If we can get another sale or two into your pipeline, uh, that make a huge difference for your numbers this year. So we're happy to help with that. So once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Appreciate you guys watching and have a great rest of your weekend. Just call us if you need anything. Thanks a lot.